Hello, everyone, and welcome to your 60-minute vinyasa practice. My name is Caitlin, if you are new here, and if not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. I do hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and well. And as we navigate the next hour together, we'll have high priority or highest intention of balancing postures. We'll begin today in supported bridge pose, but with a focus to release your sacrum. You'll wedge your two blocks to frame your sacrum, and this way that bone, that flat triangular bone, falls between the two blocks. So set your blanket at the back small edge of your mat. This is meant to support your neck and your head. Once you recline, you'll bend into your knees, stabilize your feet, grab your two blocks, and then lift your hips. You wedge your two blocks to frame your sacrum at first or second setting. Once you feel comfortable and stabilized on the height of those two blocks, you have the option to keep your legs exactly as they are, flat feet, bent knees. However, if you'd prefer to open up your hips, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees splay wide, bada konasana or bound angle legs. Personal preference, your palms can rest on your abdominals or the backs of your hands take rest on the floor at your sides. Now is a wonderful time to personalize the fidgets and the adjustments that call to your attention. In some cases, those adjustments they whisper, in other cases, they yell. Please answer and pay them mind. Entirely up to you if you maintain the natural, easy curl that falls into your fingers. Or you layer on Yanana Mudra. Draw index fingers and thumbs to touch. A soft extension runs through your middle, ring, and pinky fingers. And if you haven't already, allow your eyes to close without squeeze or strain. Release any over effort in the lower palate of your jaw. Move it right, left, up and down. Already starting to develop your body awareness. And release any stress stored in the tops of your shoulders or your traps. And that way, in real time, you are as comfortable as you possibly can be. You feel your back body release, give into the floor, give into your two blocks. This wave of contentment, it washes over you. And for now, this stillness, it's enough. From your higher heart, you decide the stillness is enough. I assure you there is plenty of time to lengthen and strengthen and move your body. But for right now, the only thing you have to do is focus your mind on the quality of your breath. Start to familiarize yourself with this channel, nostrils to navel, feel your body breathe in. Navel to nostrils, feel your body breathe out. Again, inhale, nostrils down your center column to navel. Exhale from the navel center back up to the nostrils. And throughout the next hour, this breath is your main focus. So please, as many times as your attention splits, you get distracted by something else, come back to where you are and what you're doing. You assess your energy levels. If at this time you'd like more time in stillness, respect that request from your body. Remain in supported bridge pose. If there's an eagerness, if there's a readiness to move on, 
Bring the soles of your feet back to your yoga mat if they are not already there. Just acknowledge that connection, feet to floor, feet to mat. Drive into your heels, elevate your hips, and clear your mat space of the two blocks. You tuck your pelvis, articulate low spine, back to rest. Then you toe heel your feet wide, angle toes in, knock your knees together. Stretch your arms open in a big capital T and windshield wiper your knees. Let them fall to the right. You twist your neck and throat, gaze over to the left. And if there's room to do it, you lift your right heel, hook it at your outer left knee. Allow your inner left knee to melt closer to the floor with the completion of your exhale breath. Stay connected to the channel of breath as it travels up and down your spine. Slide your right foot to the floor. Inhale, lift your knees and lift your gaze. And your exhale, drop bent knees over to the left. Second side in any series, please remember you do not have to mirror or mimic. Rather, you assess what is both safe and appropriate in the framework of your body. If you can maintain your deep belly breathings, option to hook your left heel, hook it outside of your right knee or right thigh. I'm far from easy, but very simple. You breathe in a way that you know you are breathing. Slide your left foot back to the ground. And your inhale, lift your knees and lift your gaze. Exhale, apanasana, hug both knees in towards your chest. You self-soothe and cradle your body to the right and to the left. Without the clench in your jaw, without the furrow in your brows. Half wind relieving pose, hug your right knee in towards your chest and let your left leg go long. Take a big breath in, exhale, spinal twist. Guide your right leg over to the floor at your left. Your hips stack as you stretch arms open, wingspan. Release your left glute muscle down to left toes. And when you are ready to advance your pranayama, start to constrict your throat for the ujjayi breath. Deep down in the throat, the glottis muscle engages so that with every inhale and exhale, there is sound. Inhale, come back to center. Give your right knee a squeeze. Then pull your right knee wide towards your armpit and shoulder. Keep your right knee wide. Interlace your fingers on right hamstrings. And you extend your right heel or right toes towards the back right corner of your yoga mat. From hip crease to heel, a strong diagonal line. Soften your outer shoulders, and then smooth out the breath. And while you are stable in this reclined environment, keep the channel of your breath in a deliberate flow. Take a big breath in. Exhale, figure four on the right. Cross your right ankle over left thigh. Left foot can stay grounded or lift your legs and take an active bind. Interlace your fingers on hamstrings or perhaps it's your left shin. Kindly flex your right foot and encourage your outer right knee forward. As you navigate today's class, your highest intention is seeking balance. Stay for your inhalation. Exhale, eagle legs on the right. Cross your right thigh over your left and pass your right foot behind your left ankle. Eagle arms on the right. You hug your chest. Right arm is underneath. You can take a half or full wrap around. Now smash your low back into the floor. Inhalation, you lengthen your limbs, keep the eagle bind, and on your exhale, you crunch elbows to thighs. 
Inhale, you lower and lengthen your eagle-bound limbs. Exhale, crunch, tap elbows to your thighs. Inhale, you lower and lengthen fingers away from your feet. Exhale, crunch, lift up shoulders, neck and head. Inhale, lower and lengthen. Your toes might tap the ground. Exhale, crunch, lift strong. One more time. Inhale, you lower and lengthen. Keep your low back firm. Exhale, elbows crunch to your thighs. Hold that crunch really strong for three. Compress and squeeze. Two and one. You slowly release and take a full body stretch. Elongate your limbs in opposite directions. Fingers away from feet. Lengthen out your limbs and feel the echo of what you've just done. Regulate your breathing. Come back to the ujjayi constriction deep in your throat if you've lost sight of it. Half wind relieving pose on the left. Hug your left knee towards your chest. Stay at center as you breathe in. Exhale, spinal twist. Guide your left leg to the floor at your right side. Feel the stack in your hips. The sensation across your collarbones and the length of your arms. Open hands, a lateral extension from your open heart as you smooth and steady your breath. Stay for your inhalation. Exhale, unwind, come back to center. Left knee, that solo squeeze, then pull it wide towards your shoulder. Interlace fingers on left hamstrings, flex both feet. On a diagonal line, extend your left toes towards the back left corner of your yoga mat. Inner thigh, hip crease, hamstrings. Without over effort in shoulders or tension in the back of your neck. Seeking that perfect balance between effort and ease. And when you consciously practice seeking that skill, you can take it off of the mat and into your everyday life. To that sweet spot of sensation, you breathe in. Exhale, figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. You can interlace fingers on right hamstrings, or maybe it's right shin. But actively press your tailbone down. Feel that mild resistance. And with your wholehearted attention here in this moment, thanks to the quality of your breath. Eagle legs on the left. Cross your left thigh over your right. Option to pass left foot behind right ankle or calf. Then you work with your upper body, eagle arms on the left, left arm swing under your right, squeeze chest like a bear hug, half wrap around or full wrap. Keep your low back anchored. And when you breathe in, stretch your limbs in opposite directions. Exhale, eagle crunch, tap left elbow to left thigh. Inhale, you lower and lengthen. Keep your low back firm. Exhale, eagle crunch. Left elbow, left quad. Inhale, lower. Fingertips stretch back. Toes reach forward. Exhale, eagle crunch. Compress and squeeze your front body. You've got it for two more. Inhale, lengthen. Keep the low back engaged. Exhale, strong from your core. Lift up shoulders and tailbone. One more time, take a big breath in, fingers away from your feet. Exhale, eagle crunch, hold the strength. Round up through your shoulder blades, tuck your chin to your chest, hold for three, two. Take a breath in and lift a little higher. Exhale to release, a full body stretch. If it feels helpful, take some rotations into wrists and ankles. Clear out what is stagnant, what's stuck. Press low back into the ground, apanasana, hug knees into your chest. Start to rock and roll the length of your spine, forward and backward. As you gain enough momentum, tightly cross at your ankles and roll through to tabletop. 
if you want some extra padding for your knees, know that you can always use your blanket. Place that underneath your kneecaps for extra support. And if you're anything like me, now's a great time to readjust your hair, or your clothing, props, or lack thereof. Set your space, that way you are satisfied. Inhale, cow pose, open heart. Exhale, cat spine, tuck your pelvis and your chin. Inhale, cow, shoulders wrap back, shoulder blades kiss. Exhale, cat spine, feel your shoulder blades protract. Inhale, cow, really activate your hands, base of palms to finger pads. Exhale, cat spine. Find your neutral table. Inhale, lift your heart, your head, but drop your pelvis. It's like an upward facing dog with relaxed legs. Exhale, sink your hips to your heels, melt your forehead towards the floor. Smooth that out, inhale, lift your heart, drop your pelvis, relax your legs. Exhale, hips to heels like an embryo pose. Smooth and sensual, inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders wrap back. Exhale, hips towards your heels. Option to readjust into child pose, big toes come together without an overlap. Stretch your hands and arms over to the right side of your space. C-curve your spine, stretch your left lat muscle and rib tissue. Take a breath in. Exhale, pass through center, walk hands, arms, and torso over to the left side of your space. You melt your left shoulder, left armpit hollow closer to the ground. You stay for your inhalation down to left hip crease. Exhale, child pose. Come back down the middle. If at any point throughout today's class you want or need rest, you can always come back here. Inhale, rise through table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few heel pedals. Dip one low and lift the opposite high. Break up the fascia in your arches. Massage your toes and your calf muscles. Keep your breath in that deliberate channel, deep and free to your belly, wide to your rib cage. Calm the nervous system and focus your mind. Secure your hands. Inhale, lift your heels and look forward. Exhale, walk or hop your feet forward to fingertips. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is flat, chest broad. Exhale, forward fold, relax your shoulders, neck and head. Inhale, halfway lift, buttocks back. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees, round spine. Inhale, halfway lift, length and freedom. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, energy rise. Palms might touch. Exhale, hands to your heart, stand at attention. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. So we center highest intention of balance. Focus on where you are and what you're doing. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift your right thigh and arms overhead. Exhale, mountain pose, right foot to floor, arms at your sides. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift your left thigh, arms overhead. Exhale, mountain pose, left foot plant to mat, arms lower down. Keep your feet firm. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, both arms lift. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees, heavy head at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulder blades together. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands, spread your fingers and step your feet back. Inhale, shift forward, shoulders in front of wrists, squeeze at your belly, exhale, pass through chaturanga, lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose, press through tops of feet and hands. Exhale, lower down, drop your chin towards your chest. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose, like a serpent you rise, exhale, lower down. Relax your buttocks and your face, inhale, Cobra, elbows in, 
Exhale, lower down. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep the channel of your breath up and down the center column. And if the breath starts to feel erratic, do take rest. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, empty out your lungs. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward stretch. Palms might touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Keep the channel of your breath up and down the center column. Now here's your balance. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Sweep your arms high. Lift your right thigh at the same time. Catch your balance. Exhale, Mountain Pose. Flip your hands. Lower your right foot with care and control. To the left. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Lift your left thigh. Arms and chest lift up. Exhale, Tadasana. Swim your hands down and plant your left foot. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, chest and chin, gaze is high. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward bend, crease at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift with the Ujjayi breath. Exhale, high plank, spread fingers, quiet feet. Lower halfway down to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders back, lifted head. Exhale, downward facing dog, high hips heavy heels. You're very much in control. Take a deep breath in, a complete breath out. Inhale, lift your heels, look to hands. Exhale, travel where you look, quietly land. Inhale, halfway lift, big toes together, inch between heels. Exhale, forward fold. You ride the breath. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms rise. Exhale, stand at attention, hands to your heart. Take a moment, feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. Solid foundation, you're balanced and capable. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, right thigh lift, arms overhead, maybe close your eyes. Exhale, Tadasana, arms float down. To the left, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, left thigh lift, arms overhead. Exhale, Tadasana, left foot plant, arms lower down. Smooth, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lift your chest and your gaze. Exhale, forward fold. Keep it smooth, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your hands, squeeze your belly, and lower just halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, press through tops of feet. Squeeze your belly, please. Exhale, downward facing dog, high hips. Smooth and steady, feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. Inhale, look forward and lift your heels. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. You ride the breath. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Knees bend, arms sweep high. Exhale, chair plane, front ribs to thighs, arms pull back. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Lift your right thigh, arms above your head. Exhale, chair plane, plant your right foot, stretch your arms back. Now to the left, inhale, one-legged mountain pose, lift left thigh, arms rise. Exhale, chair plane, plant left foot, pinky fingers lift. Inhale, chair pose, palms might touch, look upward. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Bakasana, crow pose, plant your hands. Bend your elbows back, create a shelf for your knees and shins to lift high in your triceps. No hop, no jump, lift your feet with care and control off the ground. If you'd rather not arm balance, I fully respect that. You take a malasana low squat. Hands collect at your heart space. You lift your chest in the base of your skull. Whatever you choose, start to balance the breath. 
And once you're satisfied with your efforts, downward facing dog is where we meet. If you'd like to vinyasa through, it's just what you've practiced. Three poses, chaturanga first, back bend of choice, then into downward facing dog. Strong through your hands, base knuckles to finger pads. Feet about hips width distance. Keep the channel of your breath up and down the center column. Inhale, right leg high, tuck your front ribs back. Exhale, right knee to right elbow or tricep. Inhale, down dog kick with square hips. Exhale, right knee to your nose, smooth and in control. Inhale, down dog kick, flex your right foot. Exhale, twist across, right knee to your left arm. Hold, three, strong, stay here, two, and one. Inhale, down dog kick, look at your hands. Exhale, step between them. Inhale, high crescent, a slight tuck in the pelvis, arms rise. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. You touch or hover for more of a challenge. Inhale, high crescent, sweep your fingers high, thumbs push back. Exhale, low lunge, that touch or hover. One more. Inhale, high crescent. At the very top, option to look up, a little back bend. Exhale, low lunge, hands touch the floor. Inhale, easy twist, right arm pull high, look up, twist your neck. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Let's see if your left hand can get a little lighter. Inhale, easy twist, extend your right fingertips up. Exhale, release your right hand down. One more time, can you hover the left hand? Inhale, easy twist, right arm up. Exhale, low lunge, secure your hands to the floor. Inhale, warrior two, stack your shoulders over open hips. Exhale, extended side angle, right forearm, right thigh, left bicep over left ear. Roll your left shoulder back. Inhale, reverse triangle, straight right leg, float your right arm high. Exhale, triangle pose, a deep right hip crease, arms six and 12. Inhale, star pose, big lift through center, heart up to hands. Squeeze your belly, exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Kick into your outer heels, inhale, halfway lift, your spine is long. Exhale, low lunge, bend your right knee and walk your hands forward. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. If you'd like to take your knees when you flow through chaturanga, feel free to modify that strong, stable posture. No expectation as you approach second side. The channel of your breath is clear. The channel of your breath is complete. Now a little more familiar, press through your hands, base of palms out through the grip of finger pads. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. It might be higher and it might be lower. Inhale, down dog kick, fill up your lungs. Exhale, knee to your nose, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, down dog kick with square hips. Exhale, twist across, left knee to your right arm. Hold strong right here for three. Shoulders over wrists, two. And one, inhale, down dog kick. Extend your left leg high. Look at your hands, exhale, step between them, navel to spine. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, low lunge, hands to floor, hover or touch. Inhale, high crescent from your right heel to the back of your right knee, lift. Exhale, low lunge, touch or hover. Strong, inhale, high crescent, press your thumbs back, option to look up. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the ground. Three times, inhale, easy twist, left arm high. Exhale, left hand down. Now see if your right hand can get a little bit lighter. Two more, inhale, easy twist. 
Exhale, left hand down. Now can you hover your right hand strong? Inhale, easy twist with a light open heart. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Inhale, warrior two, spiral arms, gaze forward. Exhale, extended side angle, right bicep over right ear. Inhale, reverse triangle, hug your heels towards one another, strong inner legs. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose, left arm down, right arm high. Inhale, star pose like a big capital X, extend. Exhale, wide leg fold, toes forward, head falls downward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, bend your left knee and crawl your hands forward. Inhale, a down dog kick, left leg high, front ribs back, no back bend. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. You balance your breathings to balance the mind. As many times as your breath becomes erratic or out of your control, please take rest and reset the quality of your breath. Inhale, look forward, press hands down, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, big toes together, inch between heels. Inhale, chair pose, hug your inner thighs together. Exhale, chair plane, pinky fingers high. Here's the balance. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, right thigh high. Exhale, chair plane, plant your right foot. To the left, inhale, one-legged mountain pose, left knee up, arms overhead. Exhale, chair plane, stretch back, reach back. Inhale, chair pose, front ribs back, long spine. Exhale, forward fold, release. Assess your energy levels. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, crow pose. You take your arm balance, bend your limbs, or take malasana, low squat, open hips, and lengthen spine. You've got it. Your choice with your breath. Count of three. As if you could breathe all the way down to the tailbone for two. One more inhalation to your choice. Exhale, down dog, or a smooth vinyasa through. A little more familiar. Inhale, right leg high, square your hips. Exhale, right knee, right arm, fluid and strong. Inhale, down dog kick, flex your right foot. Exhale, right knee to your nose, dome out back ribs. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, twist across, right knee to left arm. Inhale, down dog kick. Look at your flat hands. Exhale, step between them. Inhale, high crescent, shoulders over hips. Exhale, low lunge, hands touch or hover. Inhale, easy twist, peel your right arm high. There's no repetition. Exhale, right hand down. Here we go. Inhale, warrior two, shoulder blades draw together. Exhale, extended side angle. Use all 10 fingers in both of your feet. Inhale, reverse triangle. You rise, stretch back. Exhale, triangle pose. Work that hug in your heels towards the midline. Inhale, star pose, look up, stretch back. Exhale, wide leg fold, navel to spine, control. Inhale, halfway lift, kick into outer heels. Exhale, low lunge, bend your right knee. Inhale, down dog kick, it's right heel high. Squeeze belly to back, exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Use your conscious breathings to cleanse what you've done and create space for second side. You're in control and you come from a place of balance. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left arm. 
Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, twist across, left knee to right arm. Press the ground away. Inhale, down dog kick. Look at your flat hands. Exhale, step between them, navel to spine. Inhale, high crescent. Tuck your pelvis. Exhale, low lunge. No repetition, stay low. Inhale, easy twist, left arm high. You might hover right hand. Exhale, low lunge. With control, inhale, warrior two, right heel plant. Exhale, extended side angle, right heel to right fingers. Inhale, reverse triangle, rise. Keep the heel hug, exhale, triangle pose. Roll your right shoulder back. Inhale, star pose, open hands from open heart. Exhale, wide leg fold. Kick into outer heels. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, low lunge, bend your left knee. Inhale, down dog kick, look towards your feet. Exhale, down dog, or a smooth vinyasa through. Please make sure through chaturanga you hug your elbows in. Maintain integrity. To the pinnacle of this posture, down dog, take a big breath into tailbone. And a complete breath out, release. Now we take this series a third and final time. If you'd rather skip it, if you'd rather say no thank you, you are very much in control. Honor what you need and take care of yourself. Inhale, look forward to hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, a light heart. Exhale, fold with a strong breath. Inhale, chair pose, sweep high. Exhale, chair plane, prioritize the breath, balance it out. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Lift your right thigh, arms, lengthen. Exhale, chair plane. Smooth and in control. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Left thigh high, look up, challenge. Exhale, chair plane. Stamp and reach back. Inhale, chair pose. Palms together, look upward. Exhale, fold, navel to spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Remember, light heart. Exhale, crow pose with a strong breath. Third and final time to practice your arm balance. The no thank you is there. Opt for malasana if you'd like. I'll count you down for three. Breathe deep to pelvis and your hips. Two. One more inhalation. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Balance your breathings to balance your movements. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right arm in control. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, right knee to your nose, tuck your chin. Inhale, down dog kick, front ribs back. Exhale, twist across. Lift your right inner thigh to your front body. Inhale, down dog kick. Look to flat hands. Exhale, step between them. Inhale, high crescent. Lift heart and hands. Exhale, low lunge. Stay low. Inhale, easy twist. You might hover your left hand. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Keep the bend in your right knee. Exhale, extended side angle. Roll your left shoulder back. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Two strong feet. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge. Bend your right knee and paw your hands forward. 
Inhale, down dog kick, right heel high. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. Plenty familiar last time. Inhale, left leg high with square hips. Exhale, left knee to your left arm. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Inhale, down dog kick with your ujjayi breath if you've lost sight. Exhale, twist across, lift your left inner thigh. Inhale, down dog kick, look to your hands. Exhale, step between them. Inhale, high crescent, front ribs, tuck back. Exhale, low lunge, stay low but light. Inhale, easy twist, left arm high, you might hover right hand. Exhale, low lunge, from stable balance. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, right heel to right fingers. Inhale, reverse triangle, fill up your lungs. Exhale, triangle pose, empty them out. Inhale, star pose, lengthen. Exhale, wide leg fold, deepen. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, walk your hands forward. Inhale, down dog kick, press your chest back. Exhale, down dog, or a smooth vinyasa through. Mindful, balanced breathings correlate to mindful, balanced movements. Confident hands, high hips, heavy heels. Controlled and channeled breath down to the belly. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, feet about hips width distance. Exhale, forward fold. If you'd like to place blocks at the top front corners of your mat, just in case. Inhale, halfway lift, smooth middle spine and an open heart. Exhale, forward fold. You'll work with all of the heat in the space you've created. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, eagle arms on the right. Swing your right arm under. Bear hug your chest or wrap your hands around. Eagle legs on the right. Lift your right thigh high up and over. Kickstand your right toes or bend your left knee even deeper. Pass your right foot behind left ankle or calf. Listen carefully, pull your right hip back. Lift your chest and lift through the crown of your head. The extra challenge is to keep eagle arms. Whether or not you do that, it's entirely up to you. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Lift your right thigh to your elbows. Exhale, warrior three with an eagle arm bind. Bow your torso forward and kick your right heel back. Tuck your pelvis. Lengthen your low back body. Option to keep your eagle arms. Take a big breath into your chest and upper back. On your exhale, begin to fold. Reach your fingertips, your elbows, and the crown of your head towards the floor. If you want or need to break the bind, please do that. Fingertips to block or the texture of your yoga mat. Flirt with the height of your right heel and strengthen your right leg as you kick your right heel back. Stay for your breath in. Exhale, pyramid pose. Step your right foot back about two and a half to three feet. Feet at hips width distance, please. Blocks are wonderful. Drag them back to frame your left front foot. Then fold over your left leg and breathe into the belly of your left hamstrings. Lift your torso like a halfway lift. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Your spine is flat. Exhale, forward fold. Second side, no expectation. Inhale, chair pose. 
Exhale, eagle arms on the left. Left arm under, then you take your bind. Garudasana legs, eagle legs, left thigh high. Use your left toes as a kickstand or full wrap around. Left foot behind your right ankle or right calf. Both knees point forward. Encourage your left hip back in space. Then lift your chest. Puff it up into your biceps. The additional challenge is to maintain eagle arms. Inhale left thigh high towards your elbows. Exhale warrior three with eagle arm bind. Torso bow forward, spine parallel to the ground. Kick your left heel back. Square your hips to the floor. All four corners of your right foot root down. You take a breath in. Exhale, standing splits with eagle arm bind. Fingertips, elbows, and head melt closer to the floor as you flirt with the height of your left heel and square your hips. Strong but capable, big breath in. Exhale, pyramid pose. Step your left foot back. Drag your blocks back to frame your right foot. Bring the ground closer to you and then fold over your right leg. Stretch the belly of your right hamstrings and breathe a little smoother. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is long like a tabletop. Exhale, forward fold, stamp your left foot to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift, breath is balanced. Exhale, down dog or vinyasa through. And with your gathered mind, your balanced breath, Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Swing your right knee outside of your right wrist and walk your left leg back. Take a breath in and lift your chest, the crown of your head. It's a mild back bend. Exhale, fold over your half pigeon legs. Relax your heart and your head onto blocks, hands, or floor. If half pigeon is not in the cards today, please recline to your back body. Take figure four, cross right ankle over left thigh. For the sake of your wellness, for the sake of your balance, Breathe deep and breathe free. You return to your hands, lift torso. Down dog kick, sweep your right leg high. Downward facing dog, right toes to floor. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon, a little momentum, left knee outside of left wrist. Walk your right leg back and untuck your right toes. Take a breath in. Exhale, you fold, relax your heart, your neck, and your head. Keep your breath in that same familiar channel to anchor your mind in these precious moments of rest. Kindly return to your hands, lift torso and head. Inhale, down dog kick, extend your left leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath is steady, breath is smooth. Tabletop, drop to knees. Tight cross at your ankles, roll over your feet and come to your seat. Place your blanket at the back small edge of your space. As slow or as fast as you'd like, recline to your back body. Once you are reclined, adjust blanket. Let it pad your neck and your head. Hug both knees in towards your chest. Apanasana. When you breathe in, feel belly expand. And when you breathe out, squeeze your legs into your torso. 
Spinal twist, legs fall to the left, arms peel open, twist neck and gaze to the right. And you feel your body complete your exhalations. Inhale, lift legs through center, exhale, spinal twist to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale through center, bent knees and gaze. Exhale, Ananda Balasana, happy baby pose. Keep the ease, keep the playful quality as you grab your hamstrings, ankles, or feet. You might self-soothe, sway right and left. You might straighten one leg or both. And if at this point in your physical practice anything is left untouched, undone, please work out final poses. If there's nothing left to do, apanasana, hug knees to chest, round up shoulders, neck and head. Take a big breath in. Exhale, shavasana, release into final rest. Elongate your four limbs with a sense of heaviness, with a sense of relief. Tuck your shoulders under chest. Tuck your pelvis, lengthen low back. And if you find it beneficial, let's cleanse and exhale, nostrils to navel, a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. And with your gathered, balanced mind, with the willingness of your heart, May you enjoy and appreciate your precious time well spent in rest.
And there's a loving awareness as you awaken through ten fingers and toes. Return to that channel of breath as you take a full body stretch that will feel most excellent. From your low back into the earth, hug knees in towards your chest. And you roll to fetal pose on your right side, the posture of rebirth, symbolizing a new beginning. Move in a way that you feel taken care of. Transition upright to Sukhasana, easy seat. Ankles cross, knees drop down. High energy in the heart, lift through your head. Collect your hands at your heart space, Anjali Mudra prayer palms. A mild bow or tuck of chin to your chest. And it's with this perfect blending of head, heart, and hands that we journey through what is perhaps the most ancient intention of the class. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous. Your heart wonderfully steady and balanced and of benefit to all beings. To seal and share the benefits of today's practice, take a deep breath in. Audible exhale, release. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close our balanced practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Mm. Thank you so much for being here today and joining me for this balanced-based practice. I do hope that you found benefit in the last hour of your day, and I am eternally grateful that you've decided to carve out the time, dedicate an hour to yourself and the growth of your physical practice. May you take the benefit of balance into your everyday life and remember that your breath is always there to support you. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you, everyone.